Dear students, it is important to know the significance of the RNA function. As you know, RNAs exist in various types and they perform some very important roles within the biological systems. So to motivate you, let me share with you that the RNAs, they form extremely intricate 3D structures. If there are these 3D structures of RNA molecules, they'll be able to perform equally complex functions. Of course, the structural properties, they enable the RNA to undertake a wide range of functional roles in the systems. Therefore, it is important to see how these 3D structures, they come into being. Structures ke andar, jo bunyadi khususiyat hain, wo kis tarikhe se us structure ko paida karti hain, hume ye samajna intihai zaruri hai. Jaisa ke maine aapko bataya, RNA molecules predominantly consist of nucleotides, that is A, C, U and G and they are polymerized on a back, backbone of sugars and phosphate. So sugar, phosphate followed by another phosphate, sugar, phosphate and so on and so forth. At each of the nucleotide, at, at each of the sugar a nucleotide is attached and therefore the single stranded RNA molecule comes into being. So where do the structures come from? So, as you know, each of the nucleotide is covalently bonded to the sugar, the ribose sugar. Remember, it's ribose for RNA. So, if all of the nucleotides are covalently bonded, where is the structure coming from? So, the structure comes from the hydrogen bond that can be formed between the nucleotides that are covalently attached to the sugar backbone of the RNA. So it is very important to look at how these hydrogen bonds are formed and what complex structures can they give rise to. To understand how these hydrogen bonds are formed, you would know that A can make a bond with U and C can make a bond with D. So in this way, if the complementarity of A, C, U and G is satisfied, then they can form hydrogen bond. Moreover, importantly and differently from the DNA, in the case of RNAs, the G can also form a bond with U. So, this is called a wobble base pair. So, you must consider that while you are trying to couple the nucleotides on the backbone of an RNA. So, as you would remember, the RNAs could only perform their function because the RNA chain folds back due to the hydrogen bonds between the nucleotides and take up a specific structure. Conversely, if you know the structure, then you can predict the function and if you know the function, you can predict what kind of structure that RNA molecule has. There are various roles that the RNA can take up within the bi biological system. It is important that you appreciate this because it will help you appreciate the kind of structures, the RNA structures that are involved. So, as you can see, the messenger RNAs, they are involved in the DNA information transfer, while there are many other roles such as regulatory roles, activation of certain genes, inhibition of certain genes, catalytic roles, defense and immune responses, right, and structure-based spe specific roles that the RNAs play.